So today we're checking out the latest laptop from MSI and look how we have matched the color gradient of the logo to the ceiling. Isn't that special? This is the Raider GE67HX and as you can see on the webpage here, it says light them up. We have RGB happening as you would travel through time and space with ultimate performance and irresistible design. The Raider GE67HX comes with up to the latest Intel Core i9-12900HX processor and NVIDIA RTX. 30 series graphics. I expect this will be a popular choice amongst people who just want to have a powerful laptop in general. MSI over boost technology unleash the power 165 watts on the GPU and 55 watts on the CPU 220 watts total power true to life display OLED 99.9 .9 watt hour battery. We have Thunderbolt 4 on here. We have PCIe Gen 4 SSDs tons of RGB going on. Our audio is courtesy of Dyn Audio high res audio capable Wi-Fi 6E is in there. Graphics up to 3080 RTX Ti, 3080 Ti. I think my model has that in it. 240 Hertz refresh. Whoa. Let's crack into the box for true gaming. The laptop itself. Hmm. Not too heavy considering that spec sheet. Gunmetal titanium looking charcoal coloring. The MSI logo, the dragon badge over here, some MSI branding over there. A USB type A port as well as a charge indicator. A type C beside that and a dedicated headphone jack. Over here on the other side, we have another type A and then another type A and then an SD card slot. On the back, that's Thunderbolt 4 right there. We have a dedicated ethernet jack, full size HDMI to output, more stealth fighter-esque, Batman-esque shapes and things happening. MSI Raider GE with the transparent plate. Your power and it's gonna have to be fairly substantial because we're talking up to 220 watts. Kablamo, look at this beast. 330 watts. Let's go. We got the OLED on this one. OLED 15.6 QHD, wide angle, 240 hertz. Damn. There's a microfiber cloth in here and uh, wipe your screen if you choose to. I don't know if I've looked at a 240 Hertz OLED. You have MSI futuristic fonts going on. Steel series indicated here. There's not much flex going on. The whole thing feels really sturdy. Not that I'm surprised, 5.24 pounds. It's very planted. Nothing. Okay, so I've got the device booted up now and uh, you can see the theme, the, the background, very fitting. This is definitely the first QHD 240Hz OLED display that I've seen in the studio. Now you have something called MSI Center in here, which is gonna let you kind of tweak the system depending on what you're doing. By default, it's in this smart auto mode. So if you're just like browsing the web or reading a document or doing email, system performance is gonna prioritize power consumption and fan noise and so on. But then there's also extreme performance, which is like you wanna go all the way and have a serious gaming session. You have balanced silence. That's interesting, let's try that. Quietest system under ambient noise. And then super battery, which is gonna enhance your battery life. It is getting quiet. And the other thing I'm curious about is the RGB stuff. <laughs> whoa, whoa. Ooh, look at this. MSI Aurora, MSI Perky RGB keyboard. Oh man, we can tweak everything. At the moment, you can see the setting for the front zone. Look at this. Look at that on the front edge, illuminating. Steady color shift, multicolor breathing. And then we can go in and tweak it even further for exactly what we want. If we go to the keyboard, uh, we have an RGB setting. It looks like it's going from blue, yellow, varying right now. Click on illumination, steady. Let's do multicolor breathe on the keyboard. And maybe let's try reactive key. Oh yeah. So you can actually do this on a per key level. I like that slow fade of the reactive key. And all right, all right, all right. Yee-haw! We 
are flying maximum performance setting Overwatch gaming laptop. Let's go! Why is it that everybody just wants to play damage characters? Ugh. Oh, that dude up there is firing at me. There's a guy still there? Where? Where the hell is it? Oh, there. What? What's that? Am I burning? What's going on? That's crazy. I was playing the game in silent mode, so like the fans were not on at all. And I was still like well into mid to high hundreds frame rate. Obviously I could lock it at the 240 and get the fans going a little bit more, but obviously for the purpose of this video, I just wanted the audio. I'm happy with that. I actually did healing, see, because I used E. I get some healing credit over there. Listen, it's a nice little package. 15.4 is kind of a sweet spot. You don't get like this enormous footprint. It's a comfortable spot for gaming. And it is my first experience with 240 Hertz OLED, which is kind of amazing to look at, to be honest. It's the best of both. I've been an OLED fan for a really long time, but you just didn't see it really adopted on gaming laptops. And now it's here in the form of the Raider GE67HX from MSI. Kind of a nice little package.